We're gonna try uh, try it out. We've taken the blocks off the rear suspension, transfer bar. We'll give her a shot. <laughs> An exhaust, nope. Wild. Turning into a beautiful snowy afternoon. A beauty day, man. Yeah, man. There it is. Cool looking beast right there. Yeah. We're looking at each other's units. Just looking at each other's units. Yeah. Boys in the locker room. Yeah, we just need a little more snow and we're good to go. What's going on in here? Holy Jesus. Jeez, look at that. What'd you do? Oh, catch a reflection in my goggles? Look at yourself. Oh, you're so man. Holy, Holy Jesus. Ricky Jack, you got the lights off now. I can see you on the ice. You don't want to miss it. Oh, you won't miss it, that's for sure. Hell no. What's that for you? Just have to. Just have to get food in your belly. Look at that suit. Look at it. We set the lights off. I like it. Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. Looks nice. Comfy, eh? I think you better wait till you can't memorize before you start bashing the players for Don't be talking about can't <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm getting. Oh, <laughs> Just said it. Dumbasses. <laughs> Just said it. Too late. What did the Polaris guy find? Alright. So, I've never seen Troy so happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, buddy. And I don't blame you. It's a sweet looking unit, man. I know I was a good boss, but you didn't have to buy me this. <laughs> hey? Ian just got me a case of beer. You didn't have to get me a whole Maverick yeah, X3. You got one me all the time. Yeah. What do you think about, it's 64, but I think it's closer to 66 or 65. Let's measure it. It's just a top twice. Did you measure it? The other the one. Max are centered. 65 and a half. I heard It's 11 feet. So I need a 12-foot trailer for sure. Oh, oh, there's a the smoke down in there now. Don't say that. Did I just drop the smoke? No. I can smell it fucking burning, man. See, I'm just kidding. I didn't even have it lit. Oh, <laughs> the size of these 30s. 30s, measure them up. Yeah. Side by side, fit the machine beside it. 29 and a half. Yeah. Let's put some 32s on it, man. I just dropped it off. No, I don't know why you did. You could have had them on here. That's a nice looking machine. I like it. It does turn on pretty good, man. I imagine yeah, it does. I... Welcome to the Can-Am Club. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to fix it, you're more than welcome to come over here and we'll work yeah. on it. No problem, man. <laughs> Phil has never been more disappointed. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's broken. a broken man. He's a broken man. Yeah, That's yeah. a nice looking bumper, right? The price. Wow, that is pretty light. Yeah, it is. Look at that. What's that weigh, like two, yeah, two pounds? Yeah, oh, dude. This exhaust is so new it doesn't even come with instructions. There you go. She fit like a glove. There. And she's she lined up. Oh, she looks just perfect to do yeah. a wheelie without hitting the tips. Yeah.
Sounds good. Real good. I don't think Troy does. <laughs> Jesus, eh? <laughs> yeah, neighbors love it. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> put on there that's pretty good got one on there too hey looks nice so we got ourselves ordered up a set of there it is looks pretty sweet that black windshield on there look at that look at that That's why they make this suit not so hot. Thank <laughs> you. 
some skis showing up. I got some Curb XSM skis showing up. They're pretty wide, they're like seven and a half on the front, they taper down, they have this cut profile at the back to help carve and to help side hill and shit, so. Yeah. I can't wait for them to show up. All right, guys, super pumped. We just got some Curve Industries skis. It's a much wider ski than what you got here. I've heard nothing but bad things about the tuner and personally, I don't really care for them myself. They lack in performance a little bit. So I've done a lot, quite a bit of research, checked out all the forums and this is the best thing I found as far as everyone's opinion goes. So we're gonna give it a shot. Curve Industries, XSM skis. So flip this around, we'll get the skis up in the air. Well, that has a bit different of a shape to it, doesn't it? Wow, look at that bad boy. You know, they're pretty heavy sleds, so I can only assume when you're in the deep powder, this is gonna be substantially more kick-ass. Look at that, Curve XS. I think they're actually called XSM with this taper at the back. Oh. We all sorted up. Uh, not the not what comes with the skis originally. They come with um, whatever loops or black loops or or whatever. But if you want to get the colored loops, they have the X S X different colors of loops that you can slam on there. I think they look a little more attractive. They look a little more badass than what comes with them originally. So if you're gonna buy the skis, you're probably better off make, making sure that you buy the loops. Come on, sticker. I like to be symmetrical here. Um. We'll sort that out, hey boys. So there's one ski. You're gonna want to obviously mount your tip, mount your carbides first. Cause why wouldn't you? It'd be a whole lot harder after the fact. So mount it up, ready to rock and roll. Let's slam them on there. They're gonna look sick. They're gonna look pretty cool. The profile of these skis are quite unique. Now that we have the hang of it. Well, you're throwing on your curved skis. If you decide to get them, these things are sweet. Can't wait to try them out, they look cool. Don't hesitate to check your stabilizer bar bolt at the bottom. Might better check the top too. Um, both of mine were loose, one was actually gone. And I checked the old man's sidewinder as well. He, he Both of his were really loose, kind of flopping around in there. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Throw a little little Loctite on there and put it back together. A little blue Loctite just to keep it tight. Yeah, I actually had a bolt missing, so that arm was just sitting there floating around, so. 